Well, Wizards may have took away or beat to death the Friday Night Magic promos, flooded local game stores with terrible products like Plane Chase Anthology, and put out one of the best-selling products uh, that local game stores have to make money during the year at Walmart and Target. But at least we still have the From the Vault series, a WPN exclusive. And this one is From the Vault Transform. Now, when I look at this, there are no surprises, okay? I collect the die. Um, I usually will sell off the cards because I don't need bent versions of cards that I like. But From the Vault is one of the last standing ways that Wizards of the Coast can help us players with singles reprints as well as help local game stores uh, with a nice little product. Um, now, let's be honest here. This is a thank you product to local game stores and players. Now, in the past, I've been hard on local game stores for taking advantage of this. When you have, let's say, $100 in cards, but an MSRP um, far less than that, um, many local game stores um, would mark the product up. Now, I got mine from my local game store, TK Games in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. I buy all my product there when I can. Um, when I'm buying uh, this type of stuff, I ex especially like to support them. I've come a long way. Uh, I wavered a little bit with um, my opinion on, on these products, but uh, regardless, the only possible way to review this is whether or not the cards are bending because can we have, I mean, the one thing I want to point out is from the vault, uh, I'm worried about you, bud. You're reprinting cards from like this year. There's cards in this. <laughs> I mean, like, what's the oldest card in this set? Origins from 2016? No, there's a little bit older than that. Um, now, I know Transform is a newer mechanic, so it's not like they could put some crazy old card from, you know, Portal Three Kingdoms in here just because, well, they didn't exist then. But let's actually take a look at this product up close because there are some things worth noting. Um, the new art on uh, three of the cards, I believe. Um, these spin down, I like. And whether or not these cards are going to come out of the pack vent because that's been the complaint for many years. And while as players we can counteract that by double sleeving and ironing them and putting them in the microwave and then... Um, rubbing antibacterial lotion on them, as everyone does. Uh, I've never been a fan of paying $60, $70 for a product that is damaged out of the box. So let's see how they did with this. This Now here's this year's From the Vault die, as you all know. I collect them, not just From the Vault, but all versions of all die. So that's the one thing that I look forward to. Now, let's see here. I actually think this is a fine mechanic. I mean, like, I could meme on them a little bit for reprinting cards that I could still buy brand new in, in the pack, but I get it. Like, Transform is a newer mechanic, and so... Oh, you know what? I mean, they're a little bent, but I can tell you, I think the stock is improved. I wish I had a version of one of these flip planeswalkers right next to me so I could put them side by side, but I think the stock is improved. Here's Liliana. Let's just go through both sides. Heretical Healer. Now that foil looks a little washed out. I wish the colors would pop a little bit more. This card also looks miscut to me. The top border seems really thin. Here's Bruna. A very new card being reprinted, but whatever, again. Yeah, I mean the they're they're bent, but not as bad as normal. It is an, a noticeable improvement. Here we have Chandra again. The colors are a little washed out, in my opinion. But the stock is there. We have Alberus, the bending binding blade. 
I mean, the foiling is very, this is a very new type of foiling for them. It's very uh, reflective. It does wash out the colors a little bit, but we have Garrick. And I was almost certain they weren't going to include Garrick because, you know, he's a toxic male, but whatever. <laughs> um, let's look at one of the cards that I was annoyed that they changed the art on. Uh, Huntmaster. Now, most people didn't have a problem with it because the new art is gorgeous. And that Huntmaster is not like a legendary creature. So I get it. Um you know, somebody mentioned playing with both versions of Huntmaster and then having them be like brother and sister or husband and wife, I guess. Yeah, the, this looks, the, the foiling looks pretty nice. Here's Angel, Archangel Avison. Now, we don't have any cards that are like desperate reprints, but we have a lot of middle of the road value. I don't know about reprinting this card, in my opinion. Wow. I'm glad they did. That looks absurd. That looks so good. Arlen Cord. All these are off center. See, these are. We've got a wider border on the right than we do on the left. Quality, quality, quality. They should just. I mean, these cost pennies. They should have been thrown away and recut. Here we go. See? Miss. Left border way thinner. Look at how big that top right border is. But the stock is improved. Here we have Delver of Secrets too. A lot of people might want that one. These look pretty centered. Again, the ink um, like if I were the one over, you know, looking at this, I would probably reject these, but here we have Baby Jace. This is a nice reprint. And again, it's really like metallic. Is that the right word for it? We have Brizella and Gisela. My only gripe is obviously these are, you know, newer cars other than Delver. People might really like this Delver. I mean, the stock is thicker, way more foily. And again, this is a great product to help support your local game store and to kind of pimp out a deck you might like. Uh, you know, ultimately, which one is probably my favorite? Uh, it's always been Liliana heretical healer and maybe this is like an easier way you can see she's kind of washed out the colors aren't aren't great but i'm very happy to report that they're not they're not bendy and the stock seems really nice um they also have this quote they say it's always like a poster or a book let's actually take a look at this it's not really it's just uh they could just not include this I mean, it's a look at the at the cards, but I mean, who really cares? If we look at Bruno and Gisela too, by the way, let me grab these. That turned up. That turns out pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, really happy uh, to be able to support my local game store. I think Wizards did a fine job with Transform. Uh, they have to spice it up, I feel like, from the Vault product. It's been kind of stale lately with Angels and eh, it was last couple weren't that great. This one, pretty good. I feel like they might have pulled ahead a little bit, um, but it's a not a bad collection. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm happy um, with the stock. The, I'm happy with the relatively little bend. And uh, overall, I'm happy for all of you. Thanks for watching this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.